So thanks guys for your time. I'm going to quickly talk you through what we do at Denso, what career pathways are available. Um, so just a bit of background to Denso, you might have heard of us, we're based in Horton Wood, Telford, but we are a global company. So we are a Japanese company with our headquarters in Japan and we are an automotive manufacturer. Um, as you can see there, we were established in 1949 and we have sites all around the world. So we grew very, very fast. Um, but focusing on Telford specifically, um, Denso UK, um, so we have quite a few divisions here, but we focus on making air conditioning units. Um, we have over about 750 employees on our site. It's a really, really big site. Um, and as you can see from that side there, um, we have quite a few well-known customers. So we've got Mini, Jaguar Land Rover, Toyota, Honda, etc. So we basically make air conditioning parts for these customers. So as you can see there, we've got radiator, blower, condenser, um, and a HVAC. So that's kind of very, very quickly what we do. Um, in terms of our vision and the next generation, which is you guys, um, we have a Monosakuri Skills Promotion Centre, which is basically like a training and development centre at Denso. Um, so it's pretty new, opened about two years ago. And our philosophy for that centre, um, which is Monosakuri, translates to make good people, make good things. So being a Japanese company, we place quite a lot of emphasis on the Japanese way of doing things. Um, you might have studied at school, I'm not sure if you have, Kaizen, um, which is basically continuous development. So we're very, very big on always improving the way we do things. Um, so our Monozakuri Centre at Denso, um, that is our mission. So our employees, we like to call them associates. Um, we offer training and development for them, including managers, but also for the wider community as well. So um, unfortunately, due to the current situation, um, we're not accepting visitors at this moment in time, um, but the Monazakuri Centre was open to visitors and we used to host things like work experience, open days, you could come and have a look. Um, we've got kind of a mock line, so you can have a look, how do we actually make the parts on the line? Um, so hopefully when things start to open up again, we can start to do those open days um, for you guys to come and have a look. Um, so this is kind of where uh, you guys come in in terms of the next generation. So we do have a, um, a, a goal, which is to become a sustainable Denso company organization 2021. What that basically means is um, we want to be the best of the best, um, which is, as you, you might be able to just make out there, is our Dantotsu target. Um, so one way we are hoping to do that is by attracting the best new talent. So um, we do work quite closely with the local schools and universities in the area, and we want to be able to attract all the best talent in the area um, to come and basically work with us and help us develop all these exciting new ideas. Um, so in terms of our vision, um, you might have heard of the sustainable development goals with the UN. Um, we place quite a big focus on the sustainable development goals and this over these past few years particularly Lily, uh, we have a focus on number four, which is quality education. Um, so we have been doing quite a lot, as I mentioned, in working with um, the local community and providing pathways for schools, for universities and colleges um, to come and work with us and um, develop the next generation of talent. So in terms of um, what we are doing at the moment, we do have quite a few career pathways. Um, in terms of primary pathways, we work with um, the local Telford Council in doing junior road safety initiatives and we offer things like um, bikeability courses, road safety awareness. In terms of secondary, uh, which is what you guys are looking at, um, 
we do offer employability skills. So in the past, we have done um, CV workshops, CV building, um, offering kind of one-to-one -one sessions. And also, as I mentioned earlier, site visits as well, where you can come down and have a look at what we do or offer you a tour of the factory. Um, some of you might know we have an eco garden. We're quite big with our corporate with social responsibility. And in terms of um, further education, we have been working with apprentices. So this year particularly has been quite an exciting year for us. I understand that a lot of companies have struggled to either um, being able to recruit apprentices or being um, or even letting go apprentices, unfortunately. But we've been quite in a in a lucky position that we took on five new apprentices this year, um, two in business administration and three in engineering. So the way that works is we work quite closely with Wolverhampton College. Um, we offer um, our apprenticeships out to them. We place our adverts with them and they provide us with um, basically that they're, they're our recruitment, um, our, our point of recruitment. So if you were interested in an apprenticeship with Denso, um, it, again, it doesn't have to be engineering. Like I said, we took on some business admin this year. Next year, hopefully we'll be in the position again where we can recruit some apprentices. So I would say um, get in touch with Wolverhampton College. Um, you can contact um, myself. So I'm the point of contact for apprenticeships if you are interested um, and we, we can take a look into that. In terms of um, higher education, so some of you might decide that you would like to go to university. We also offer um, year in industry industrial placements. So you might have heard of the Engineering um, Development Trust, EDT. Um, they work with year in industry by supplying um, graduates who are looking for a placement. So again, um, it's not a particular area. It can be um, engineering students. It can be data science students. Because at the moment, we are looking at a lot of um, how can we move forward in terms of technology? Obviously, currently things are moving very fast. And as a company, we have to keep up with all the technological developments. So we're looking at really, really interesting stuff such as um, factory internet of things. How can we ensure that our factory is efficient as possible by making sure all the machines are connected and talking to each other and getting the data um, beforehand before things go wrong. So kind of making those predictions so we can be as efficient as possible. Um, so that's kind of what the future uh, looks like for us at the moment. And it is an exciting time. And we are looking for um, new young people, the next generation to help push us forward in that. We do have an aging workforce, unfortunately, which means in the next 10, 20 years, um, we will have a skills gap. So we need to start early looking for um, the next generation, of potential engineers, etc. So like I said, um, if you're interested in university, perhaps look at year in industry. They offer um, a placement. So you'll do your first two years at university and then um, you'll do a gap year where you'll do a placement with us. We provide you with a really, really exciting project where you um, can work on improving a certain area. So. Um, like I just mentioned, the projects this year will be based around FIOT, Factory Internet of Things. Um, however, for those of you who are more looking towards the apprenticeship route, it is a really, really great opportunity because the apprenticeships, especially the new apprenticeship frameworks, are brilliant. They give you kind of the hands-on experience. So you'll be doing a few days um, with us at Denso, working in um, a rotation. So we have an apprenticeship framework where you actually get to go around the company. So you won't be in one place. You get to work in all of the departments, um, get a feel for it, get to work on some projects. And then also alongside that, you complete your um, course at college. So you get day release where you'll spend a few days at college and a few days at Denso. So yeah, that's kind of what we've got on offer at the moment. Um, like I said, it is a bit of a shame because of the current situation. I mean, we've worked with HLC in the past 
um, and hopefully going forwards we can start to put some more things on where perhaps you could um, come and do a visit and take a look around the factory as well. So um, that's basically a very, very quick summary. Um, does anyone have any questions at all? Uh, I don't think they've put any questions in the, uh, in the Q&A bit for you. Um, but in terms of the industrial cadet stuff that they do, how much does that link into like the apprenticeships that they then go on to? Because I'm, like, I'm pretty heavily involved in the industrial cadet stuff, so it's really interesting to see where the progression is. Yeah, sorry, could you just um, say that again? I'm just going to put the volume up a little bit. Sorry. Sorry. The, uh, the industrial cadet stuff that they do, how yeah. closely linked is that then into the uh, apprenticeship stuff that they do? Okay, um, so in terms of industrial cadets, um, we used to offer work experience placements um, where you'd come and spend some time, um, whether it be a week or two weeks, depending on how long they spend with us would depend on um, what accreditation they would get. So I know industrial cadets offer um, kind of bronze, silver and gold, depending on how many hours they complete. Um, with the work experience placements, it's, it's really, really good because um, we get them to work again on a mini project over those few weeks and it will be something um, based around engineering. So we've got like they have to build an engineering tower, they have to build a bridge, they have to overcome a certain type of problem. So it's um, really hands on um, and they get to work in a team to come up with a solution. Um, so I remember last year, um, I think it might have been HLC actually, and we had um, a group of very bright students who came up with um, how they would create a phone charger um, for a car that was actually um, powered by the sunlight. Um, so it's things like that, and you get a you get a qualification at the end of it, which is recognised by industrial cadets. Um, and also a great work experience where, you know, you get some really, really good exposure to the engineering side of things. Um, in terms of the apprenticeships, like I said, they are great because you do a rotation. So you'd go around production engineering, you'd go around maintenance, facilities, um, jig tool and die. You'd actually get to go around all of the areas and spend three months, three to six months in each area. Um, whilst you're studying at college and we do make sure that um, it's very tightly um, closely knit so what you do at college would tie in with what you do at Denso as well so it is a it is a really good framework 